Welcome ladies and gentlemen to a brand new episode of Surviving with Buildcraft 6 here with me Chillum and uh, today today we're going to do a little bit of Buildcraft additions. So turns out when uh, I'm going to take this pump by the way yoink excellent when um, I think it was when I updated 6.3 Buildcraft which is awesome by the way <laughs> if you didn't know um, let's drop down here carefully is there a way down there is oh look at that of course we've climbed up here muppet um yes bca needed to be updated to version 2.0 which is still heavily in development now i've been picking up a few versions from a enterprise as we've been going and uh, it turns out during the time i've been quarrying and whatnot in here you see all this you see all these like you know fuel field pipes and everything Nothing's going into the combustion engine. This one has like the teeniest weeny little drip of fuel left in it. This one has nothing. This one has nothing. This one, they're all empty basically. There's nothing in there. And that's because this isn't a fuel anymore. That's a gas. Oh no, t burps. Excuse me. So what, um, what Buildcraft Editions now does is instead of outputting fuel from the refinery, it, re it outputs a gas version of the fuel. So this is now all completely chocker block with gas. Yeah, boy. So that's no biggie. Oh, that is bloody annoying. God damn rain. Um, because what we need to do now instead is to build ourselves a refinery and a cooling tower and stash our fuel somewhere else for the time being, which is fantastic because what I want to do is claim that room where our current refinery setup is and use this for processing. This is all going to get a little bit shifted around. I'll show you the storage room. I've had a few plans. So I want to increase the amount of storage and I want to shift all of this stuff here. So I'm going to put that away. I want to shift all of this stuff here and change it into more boxes because it shouldn't be here and that can be placed like oh, what was that on the floor i know it's dirty very cold isn't it yeah i took stuff out of there there we go that can be um all put into here so we can put more stuff in here and more stuff over here now what i did is i set up a new kinetic duster and heated furnace with kinetic coil oh yes just like we did over at the quarry um to process some bits and bobs and what i've been doing is getting some heated conductive plating ready, which is essentially four iron dust uh, in a little square. It gives you the uncooked version of that, and then you get the cooked version. Now, I think that's more than enough. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, what have I got? I can't remember what I need all these bits for. Um, and now this plating is what you use to create the uh, housing for both the refinery and the cooling tower. Awesome balls. Now, we're going to do this in reverse because we have <laughs> all of this gas that needs processing. We're going to build the cooling tower first and that requires some water as well. So let's go check out quickly what the blocks are. Now I think the cooling tower needs something like 39 blocks and I believe I believe one, two, three, we'll take four of them. That's the cooling tower blocks with the redstone in the middle. Yeah, nice. Um, but I'm not sure what the valve was. I think cooling tower valve is refinery valve, which is just the iron bars. Aha, that's what that was for. I knew I had it planned for something. Uh, one, two, three, four. Does that give us four of them? That is plenty. So with this, we should be able to make ourselves... Hello. The cooling tower. Where did that go? There it is. Thank you. Um, now, the thing is, this does all run off power. So we're going to have to run a power line out there from here. But we do also have these... Uh, do, 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 do. Where are they? There's these storage buffers. Advanced Kinetic Energy Buffer Plating. Uh, do, do, do. I'm not entirely sure how they work. I haven't looked into them yet. So probably worth checking up on, actually. So we may include one of those, sort of a battery pack, whoop, in between the engines and the refinery. We shall see. So this first bit, anyhow, uh, let's go up to the cooling tower, rather than nearly starting to install the refinery. Oh, erroneous. I think mm -hmm, it's only five tall, so... Uh, no, these are the valves. Yeah. We'll grab them quickly. Lovely. Yeah, so we've got a tunnel all the way through. In fact, this, which connects to the underside of where the tanks are, connects to the underside of where the engines are. So it all ties in quite nicely. Unsurprisingly, it all fits rather lovely. So, one, two, three. Oh, good gods. There we go. And it begins. Kinetic tool. Oh, man, that thing is awesome. Uh, that's a refinery valve. We need at least one, two, three of those. So cooling tower valves. There we go. Plug one in there. Awesome. Textures are temporary. I assure you. <laughs> and then it's one, two, all the way round. Now I think I may. So it's one, two, 
one, two, three. Let's go up the next level. I'll put in these temporary stepways just for a uh, ease of access, obviously. Obviously, uh, he says. <laughs> ease of access, park or fail. Ah, uh, Minecraft. There we go. Okay, so it should be. So that's three. Get in there. Four and five. That should be it, I think. That would be lovely. God damn this rain. I might have to go and have a quick snooze because this is ridiculous. There we go. And you in the top. That's awesome. And then what we need, actually, down this side, which I've forgotten about, is an input for the water. Hoi. Oh no. Oh well. Uh, which can go in the side there. Alright. Okay, how do I get up there? <laughs> I don't think I've got a way around to that bit. Alrighty. It's just there ish. So, do I have any blocks? I have some blocks. Let's build up some more temporary stairs. Because we love them. My god, I'm nearly dead. Imagine if a creeper just rocked up now. That would just be my luck, to be fair. I mean, a creeper rock up there now. Uh, so, I think in the middle here, if we take that out and place ourselves another cooling tower valve. Be magic. Cooling tower walls, cooling tower valve. I did get all the right ones, didn't I? Refining wall valve. That should be it. I'm sure that's correct. Mm. That's annoying. What have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? One, two, three, four, five. Nope. The measurements are correct. Let me see. Whoop. All right. Give me, give me a moment. I'll go check out what's going on. I'm not entirely sure what went wrong there, but uh, it might be because it's a dev build and um, Enterprise has been chucking me a lot of versions <laughs> to try and get everything sorted out for the new uh, refinery and whatnot, which is cool. Um, so what we'll do is I've tweeted the fella and we're going to wait and see if he gets back to me, but we'll make ourselves some refinery walls instead. Now this, this is expensive. I think we need like 70 of these, which is just ludicrous balls. So that's cool, um, and we're going to need another valve at least, I think. So we'll get another four refinery valves, that's cool. Uh, we should be able to build this up pretty quickly as well. Let's have a look, let's create a little refinery plating, refinery valves, awesome. This thing only has an input and the output down um, at each end. I'm just going to go through that hole there, hopefully, if I've got my measurements right. We shall see. So this is a three by three by nine i believe it's fairly large bit of kit as far as uh, machinery goes it's quite funksome i like it uh-huh we'll go up here we might as well hop in and so what we're going to end up with is something like that with the refinery valve at the end Therm. build that up real quick that's pretty sweet. That is pretty sweet. And we'll see if this forms immediately. It might just be, like I say, just a bug in the version I have. It is all heavy development and being made as we speak. Um, nuts. I should have done that. Let's just hook that out of there. And we're nearly done with this. This is quite... Oops. A spectacular looking beastie. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. And like I say, all of these need power. So we're going to have to run power lines to stuff as well. Nope. Oh, maybe. Yes! Yeah, the refinery worked. Ooh. Makes me wonder if I've put the uh, the tower together right, but as far as I understand it from the instructions on the... Uh, oh, hold on. No, that is correct. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I, I took out this stone plating here just to see if it would help, but nothing happened. So, well, we've got the, uh, the refinery anyhow. That's freaking sweet, which is great because we don't need it. <laughs> right now we've got tons and tons of stuff but we do have the oil over there and let's see this is just requiring um some energy i believe so that's pretty sweet we can run power cables over now this is another issue at the moment what i think we're going to have to do is we go inside i think it's going to come through there i should double check uh the problem being is we've got that pipe in the way at the moment but um let's have a look where's that going to can I, ooh, can I, can I get to it without, nope, never mind, uh, is that, that is exactly where I thought it was, I think, oh god blimey, honestly, I wish I had some form of flight, that'd be awesome, uh, cool, let's put you over the top of that pipe, connect you up 
Quick, like so. And there. Lovely, good stuff. Because then that will come straight out of there and we can do whatever the hell we want with it. Let's pull it down one for a start, make it slightly easier for ourselves. Oh, oops, excuse me. Um, yes. That will do fine. Hmm, now we need hmm, the battery. The battery, the battery, the capacitor thingy. We shall see. But I think for now we just need to pull in the power over here. So I think if we bring it in, I'm trying to think. I think it would be nice to see the power running along the front so we can actually witness it working. That would be pretty cool. But maybe it's a case of um, balancing it along here so it doesn't look quite as absurd. Whoops just free floating uh, there's not much better to be honest what we'll probably do is build up some sort of support structure for this because it'll look pretty sweet I think and then you're gonna need one um, and we're gonna have to bring the power around this way right through where I'm standing obviously and it's gonna have to come down and power a pump my god which is gonna need to go here uh, the pump can actually be raised a fair whack to be honest we might as well try and center it oh yeah look look at my little dinky bridge oh he's adorable it's quite cute uh yeah place the pump there fantastic that's right above no water <laughs> i'm so good <laughs> oh did i bring a bucket no but i do have iron on me for that oh well we shall fix that in a moment in fact can't we fix this really easily we're just making it no we can't now we need uh, we need buckets let's get rid of that swim out of here Oh my god, right, let me connect all of this stuff up and uh, yeah, get that at least filling with water if we can get it working. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And then what we're going to need as well, as once the power is connected up all to that, we're going to need output from there into these pipes, uh, into these pipes, well, into these tanks, which I think I'm going to make into slightly more ordered um, sort of arrangement or, or make some more, one of the two. We shall see. Right, I'm going to get on with that. I shall be right back. All right, we got it working. Thank you to A Enterprise being ever responsive on Twitter. Uh, he told me it's obviously a beta build; it's very early stages, and the orientation of the uh, tower kind of matters. So he said just to try put the valve on a different face, and sure enough, I moved it over here, and bada boom, it works. So um, yeah, like a fool, we don't actually need power <laughs> to the tower, no power to the tower, but we do need power to the pump. So I've connected it all up. I'm not connecting the refinery up yet because it's unnecessary. And what we have at the moment is a pipe that would normally connect there. Coming out of the refinery is currently plugged into the bottom of our cooling tower. And that's going to be hopefully, hopefully getting all the gas as soon as I connect this up. Do I have any more left? Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, this got very, very tight. Do that and that. Oh my God, it's almost perfect. Look at that. It looks like liquid. It's not a gas. It's not a gas. Um, so it should hopefully flow its way through ever so slowly because these aren't gold pipes and I'm hoping I don't know I don't know if it's going to it's going to prefer getting processed I don't know how the fluid works was that a zombie I'm not entirely sure how fluid works in Minecraft so or in Buildcraft even for that matter but it should make its way into here and on this side we've got gas that's filling up we don't have any water that's unfortunate. Let's go turn the power on. Hopefully this will work. Oh my god, I haven't even thought about this. Oh yeah, I've got rid of these goddamn pressure plates on the outside. Too many mobs were making their way in. Thank you, Mr. Creeper, again. So let's turn you on. And hopefully... Now... Uh, oh, you're not even working at all. You've got no power at all. Why have you got no power? I think I've got one bucket somewhere. Oh my god. I need a bucket of fuel. I need a bucket of fuel. I know I've left one. <laughs> one bucket left from one engine. Uh, I don't know. This should be enough for the pump. At least. So that's drawing power. It's drawing power to all the wrong places. Why are you going over here? No, you don't draw power. You turn off. Stop that. Good. And you, I don't want ever making any more stuff. So we'll cut you off. There we go. Whew. Through the jittery heaven of 13 frames a second. That was amazing. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. We've got fuel. Fuel is being made. <gasps> Let's get up here and see if we can't see it all working. So, oh, my lordy, lordy. That's pretty pokey. Uh, fl 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 fluid. Water is going into the tank. That's awesome. Let's quickly kick this. There we go. It's heating up. 
The water is more than sufficient. Well, just about sufficient, I think. That's cool. That's cool. Gas is being made, and our tank is empty because it's getting all stored over there. Woohoo! Oh my god, we have fuel being made again. That's fantastic. What we need to do, ideally, is wait for these pipes to get cleaned out. And once we have that sorted out. Oh, wow. Wow. Epically hard work getting around. Oh, excuse me. This is terrible. There we go. Um, once we have that drained from here, in fact, what I might do is discombobulate that for the minute. Let it suck all of the stuff out of these pipes so they're clear. And then we can start pumping the fuel that's being made in there, or being stored in there, underneath and into all the engines and we can turn them all on again. That would be amazing. Wow, these are all... Oh, there's three... Uh, hmm, okay, take care of that in a minute. Right, let's uh, let this process its stuff. Uh, let's go check out how much fuel is being made without mobs kicking our butts. That is lush. That is looking lovely. There we go. Oh, our first little bits of actual fuel. Poof, right. I'll we'll let this process and I'll be back in a little while. Well, there we go. There we go. It is slowly draining out. I've taken all the pipes down, slowly as we've been going. This one engine, and a little bit of this one actually, was powering the pump all this time. But I think this is pretty much drained out now. So we're going to let that go. But underneath, what I've done is around the back here now, we've just got this single pipe. And it connects down this away. Now, we've used pipe plugs because I haven't done sexy, waterproof multicolored pipes. Is that possible? I imagine it must be possible. I don't see why not. Um, but yeah, we do have this stone pipe here connecting up from the under... Oh, hang on. T-boats, honestly. Uh, connecting up from under here all the way through to this little section. And for now, we've only got these three tanks going. So it's done It's done a fair amount from the fluid. And it's, there's still quite a lot of gas left, sorry. Still to process. But to end this off, because we need to process all of this before we can do anything else... Let us give, um, oops, hello. Let's give the engines in the other room all the juice they could require. And hopefully, once this is all on and that starts filtering through, ho -ho, all the engines will be powered, which will be lovely. Uh, although massively excessive for the time being. But we can get, oops, we can get another quarry on the go, I suspect. Um, because if we're lucky, eventually. From down there somewhere, the fuel will come up and start filling up all the engines. Now they're all being sort of requested on and off. So as they, there we go, as they get filled, we should see them all turn on. As the fluid fluid drips down, it gives them just a little bit. Oops, run out. Oh, there's a the top up coming through. Is it going to make it all the way down here, or is it just going to try? Oh, no, 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 no. It's dribbling all the way down. There we go. Look at that. All the power. <laughs> all the power slowly activating. So there we go. Whew. There is our new... Oh, my God, man, that is producing a lot of power, I suspect. More than the pump requires. Nothing in here should be requesting anything. And everything else should be switched off. So all of that power is going to the pump. Holy. Uh, in fact... Yeah, there it goes. Look at that. Boom. Ridiculous. That's probably a huge waste of power. <laughs> but we shall see. Fantastic. Right, next time, what I'm basically going to do is leave this running now. Because there's nothing to do except let it fill up all of the fuel in there. Hmm. It's going to take a long time. <laughs> uh, and what I'll do as well is once it's drained out the rest of the system here, through this pipe, um, we can easily enough connect that to the remaining one that's coming through the roof over there and just hook all of that into the system again. This one here. Da, 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 da. And all of that can just be piped through. In fact, there's absolutely no real reason why we can't just do that at the end of this episode. Because look at all that lovely gas. <laughs> he says about to burp again. Look at all that lovely gas. <laughs> so we get it to there. We'll actually knock that off there because it looks like it's pretty much done. And there we go. That is all of our... Uh... Oh, there's a little bit left in there. Yeah, I don't suppose it matters. It's not so important. That is the remainder of all of our gas supply. Not bad. So that will slowly drain out of all of these tanks. These guys will activate when they need to feed out the rest of the oil they're producing. I took down the other two that were sitting here. That's it. This just needs to be left to run and uh, do its funky thing. And once these glass tanks are available, I'll go add them to the fuel list. And then once that's done, cool, hopefully by next episode, we'll hook up the old refinery and get it working through that bunch of oil there. Not bad. 
Not bad. Well, thank you very much, A Enterprise, for your work on this. This is uh, it's an interesting twist. And it's quite cool, all these nice big uber structures outside again. I love them. Big multi-block structures. Pretty sweet. Looking good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I'm going to call it and say thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, give this a crack. It's a little bit twitchy so far, but it's been it's working. It is working. So I can't argue with that. And, uh, yeah, join us here next time, and we'll hook that monster up and see what happens. Awesome. I'll see you then. Cheers.